Good day, good day! Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. This is your friend Dano. How the honk are ya? <laughs> well, you're gonna ask, what in the world are we sampling chocolates today? <laughs> what is going on? Well, I tell you what. Uh, first off, let me explain. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some things that I've collected throughout the years, I guess. That's what we're going to look at today. Some trash and trinkets, as uh, Land Rover would call them. But uh, they're treasures to me. Uh, explaining the uh, Whitman's uh, sampler box. I have a thing for cigar boxes and candy boxes. I mean, you could go to uh, any dime store or whatever and get a plastic box and put your stuff in. But that doesn't have character. That doesn't have meaning. That doesn't have, you know, any, you know, I don't know, character. This has got some character. Kind of corny, kind of sweet, but it's got character. So anyway, that explains this. A lot of my stuff I store in uh, uh, cigarette boxes, cigar boxes, and stuff like that. It's just, I, I find it fascinating. They're very beautiful. Uh, a lot of times wooden and stuff like that. So... That explains that. All right, so let's take a look here. And it has been forever since I looked in this or uh, dealt with this box. Uh, I recently kind of been uh, finishing up my moving. Uh, I used to live with my dad. Now I'm, I'm kind of out on my own here. And uh, so I have collected these things throughout the years. Now, I don't know if I'm going to remember where or when I got these, but... Let's take a look. There's some Land Rover things in here that I'd like to show you. Well, here's a Land Rover pen. There you go. How unique is that? You got one of them? Yeah, that's pretty neat. I think I got two. I think I might have got this from the dealership. I'm not sure. But, uh, yep, there's, there's two of them there. Kind of interesting. Not, I mean, they're not... I mean, they are Land Rover pens. They're not like official uh, Land Rover, you know, a gear, I wouldn't say, but I probably got it from a dealership. Here's another one. Oh, this is from uh, Bergstrom's uh, Premium Auto Motor Cars. Uh, they're a Land Rover dealership. I think they're based out of Madison and uh, Milwaukee or Chicago. But, uh, yeah, I got a pen from there. A lot of this stuff I get from the dealerships, you know, and stuff like that, back when they used to have a lot of stuff. Um, rally plaques. Oh, this might uh, be back from the day when I used to, uh, yeah, there you go, Pipeline, Nicolette National uh, Forest, 2002, that's back when I used to have a truck. Uh, at that time, I was driving my Series 3. Uh, and uh, Chicago Land Club would go up there in the November and we'd go uh, on the pipeline, just a string of us tr trucks there. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, really cool group. I'm sure that they're still, still hanging around. Here's uh, another one. April, they must have done it two times a year. In the spring and in the fall. So you get a little placards. I do have uh, uh, another placard on that. Let me show you that real quick. Yeah, I found this, uh, yeah, there's uh, another one uh, that I had. Now, I put this on, uh, it's on a piece of glass, and I just painted. I worked at a glass factory, so uh, tempered glass was kind of, so I just painted this, and uh, I put uh, some of the placards at the Lake Geneva. They did uh, back when the race, uh, race uh, uh, track was open there, yeah. Doc Lynn's Ranch, Illinois, 2000. So back when I used to off-road in the 2000 with my uh, series truck. So that was some more placards. I guess I got to redo that if I want to place them. Oh, and then the platoon run was uh, a car show, um, <laughs> motorcycle show in Toma. That's where I used to live, Toma, Wisconsin, August. I was kind of peeved about that Um you know, uh, uh, platoon run. It's held at the VA for the veterans and, and uh, really a really cool show. And I brought my uh, uh, XMOD military Land Rover. That's what I had. Series 3 XMOD. That's the Ministry of Defense. 
uh, all stock. It was uh, still a camouflage color and everything. Anyway, what kind of perturbed me is I didn't win the prize. I mean, I had the most authentic Land Rover uh, uh, military vehicle there, and some, <laughs> excuse me, Yahoo won for his uh, replica staff car. Yeah, they painted it drab green and put some colored, uh, painted some numbers on it. I'm like, really? I've got the original thing here, and you, oh, never mind. So anyway, uh, okay, so I got a pin here, a lapel pin, Land Rover. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, here's a, a really cool thing. Uh, I'd like to, you know, somehow eventually display these. Camel Trophy lapel pen. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, here's you go. It's a nice uh, Land Rover um, keychain-like thing. Oh, here's something that I bought. Uh, custom. I don't, I don't think I could wear this now. Kind of grew up since I had this, I think. <laughs> it's been, been almost... 20 years, but anyway, this, I think this is supposed to be stainless steel, and uh, it has engraved in it, Land Rover, a ring, yeah, it barely fits on my pinky finger, I don't know how I was, maybe that's why I didn't wear it, because it didn't fit, <laughs> alright, oh, here you go, I uh, bought something, uh, Land Rover gear, and, uh, oh, here it was, I don't know what that is, but it was $19, so I saved the tag, you know how I am about the <laughs> stuff, and I put a lapel, a lapel pin just in the hole there just to keep this from getting lost, but uh, there you go, there you go. So do you folks have anything uh, Land Rover that you keep? This is kind of uh, stuff from the past. Uh, this has got embossed on there, Land Rover. It's uh, uh, glasses, lanyard, you stick your these over the ends of your glasses uh, pretty neat uh, just keep that oh, another placard yeah I don't know who those guys are oh yeah oh yeah owl wise owl parts yeah that's another company that deals with uh, stuff some of this stuff may not be Land Rover per se related there's another pen oh yeah Land Rover enthusiasts it's a magazine that I was subscribed to um, UK's friendliest and fastest growing Land Rover magazine. Yeah, we could do a thing on those ones. Oh, I bought this one uh, off eBay, I believe. Uh, Freelander, Road to Adventure. Land Rover, that's kind of cool. Another lanyard here, or uh, keychain here with Land Rover. A uh, little wooden back to it. Oh, this cost, I bought this, this is $6.00. Little uh, chart there called Fahrenheit and temperatures. Little uh, thermometer on there. Kind of cold out. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, this uh, did I buy? So I must have bought something from him. Um, this is the uh, what is it? The Land Rover Owners Club. Come on, let's focus here a little bit. And uh, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat key ring. 250. I don't know what that goes for uh, these days, but I'm sure I bought that somehow or somewhere. But uh, yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, uh, here's a empty box. Here's another lapel pin that I got. I should really find some way to uh, display them. That's pretty nice there. Uh, Midwest equipment. I don't. Oh, uh, this is off of one of my. Uh, 95 Land Rover Discovery, the blue one that I owned. Another uh, key fob. Now this one I actually used and uh, had for my uh, Discovery. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, is this a calculator? Is that? Oh no, that's uh, that's a badge. That's a real genuine uh, metallic badge. That's uh, just like this one here. This one here, yeah. I uh, bought a couple of these apparently, and I uh, had one of my uh, friends, Christopher Zane Nestor, he's a cool old Scottish dude here in, in mid Wisconsin, I gotta look him up again, but uh, he's a craftsman, a woods, woodsman uh, craftsman, and he, uh, I said, Chris, can you make me a placard that I can put that on, and then I gotta find some way to, to fasten it, but that's what that is, he made that for me, 
So pretty cool. That's uh that's the real kind of badge. Uh, okay, we just got one more parcel here. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I'd really like to see what else you uh, folks have uh, collected throughout the years. Um, now this one, uh, oh, what is that? Oh, that came from, oh, Land Rover, you can see it back here. Land Rover Enthusiast, yeah. And uh, that's my old address. I don't even know if they're there anymore. But anyway, <laughs> all right, what was this one now? Oh, check it out. I got me a wallet. Yeah, and I just need some money for my wallet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Pretty neat, pretty neat. There you go. I, I think that's leather. Or is it pleather? I don't know. I don't know, but they're cheap, man. There's no money in there. Come on. <laughs> well, there you go. That's just a little uh, taste of uh, what I have for, uh, you know, Land Rover and uh, trash and trinkets. That's what uh, the uh, Land Rover people call it in the industry there. Uh, just uh, stuff that, uh, and I looked at when I first got into Land Rovers, and I'd still like to uh, make some products and stuff like that that uh, could sell for uh, people to enjoy. Uh, when I contacted Land Rover, North America, they're like, yeah, they, we call that trash and trinkets, you know, we, we don't uh, sell that stuff, we give it away, well, I uh, I can't afford, you know, your $80,000 truck so I can get a $2, uh, <laughs> you know, trash and trinkets, something or other that I'd like to have and enjoy, you know, so uh, really kind of cool, really kind of cool, this kind of stuff is uh, really, I'd like to, um, now that I'm resorting and everything and getting my collection all together and stuff like that, uh, I need to get together and uh, sort my stuff a little bit better, uh, this is what I just kind of put together in, uh, in a box, so there you go, what do you got that's Land Rover that you enjoy, that you would like to uh, uh, show off and maybe we could focus in on this little bugger I, <laughs> there you go camel trophy i was re i'm really a big camel trophy fan i know a lot of their products and and uh, stuff like that are pretty spendy especially here for us in the states but i i love camel trophy i got a cam i got a can of paint of camel trophy color sand glow yellow yeah yeah sand glow <laughs> Anyway, there you go. Please comment down below. Let me know what you have as far as uh, memorabilia, as we may call it. This is not going to focus either. Yeah, I tell you what's going on with that. This will focus. Let's focus on this as we get out of here, all right? All right. Thank you very much for joining me, my friends. Remember, you got to keep that slow traffic to the left. No, no, keep the slow traffic to the right. <laughs> Talking about keeping it to the left, why I say that is one of my uh, subscribers said that, that <laughs> where he's from, <laughs> Australia, I believe it was. He, yeah, the traffic keeps to the left because they're on the wrong side of the road or on the correct side of the road. But anyway, there we go, for my friends. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.